Okay, now we're going to take a look at truth tables. What is a truth table? A truth table summarizes all the true or false values for a given compound statement. Let's look at the truth table for the statement P and Q. Before we get started, we have to realize that an N statement is only true when both parts are true. So P and Q is true only when both P and Q are true. We need to know this to do the table. We construct the table, which always has two columns for the parts of the statement, the compound statement. We have a P part and a Q part. And we have to list all the four different possibilities. When P is true, Q is true. When P is true and Q is false. When P is false and Q is true. And when P is false and Q is false. Now if we had a third statement like P, Q, and R, we would actually have eight different possibilities because you'd have another true and false for each of these. But we're just going to stick with two different statements here, P and Q. We also have a column for what we're trying to show. And we're trying to show the table for P and Q. I use the upside down V for AND. Now we fill in the entries for that last column. When both P and Q are true, we get a value of true. When P is true and Q is false, we get a value of false. When P is false and Q is true, we get a value of false. And with, when both P and Q are false, we get a value of false. And this is our completed table. Now we're going to create a truth table for P or Q. First you have to realize that P or Q is true when one or both values of P and Q are true. And it's only false if both P and Q are false. Once again, we fill in the first four rows with all the four possibilities for P and Q. True, 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 false, false, true, and false, false. And then we fill in the column for what we're creating the table for, P or Q. And I have the V symbol there for OR. In this case, we get true when both P and Q are true. We get true when one of them is true in the second and third case, and we only get a false value in the very last row where both P and Q were false, and this is our completed table. Okay, let's construct a table for something a little more complicated. We're going to do the table for not Q or both P and Q. Our first step here is to create a table with columns for P, Q, but we also need a column for negation of Q, we need a column for the part P and Q. And then finally, we need a column for the whole statement. So you need all the components and then a final column for the whole statement. Then we start filling this in, starting with P and Q. Well, we do the same four rows. True, 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 false, false, true, false, false. And then we start filling in this table, one column at a time, starting from left to right. We start with the negation of Q column. And that's pretty easy. All we have to do is negate all the Q values. If Q is true, negation of Q is false. If Q is false, negation of Q is true. If Q is true, negation is false. And if Q is false again, negation is true. So we've got that column done. We then proceed to the P and Q column. In the P and Q column, we use the fact that AND statements are only true when both parts are true. Well, that only occurs in the very first row where P and Q are both true. So we get the one true at the top here, but all the others are false because we have true, false, false, true, and false, false for P and Q. So you get a true followed by three falses down below. Okay, we're almost done. All we have to do now is combine these last two columns I did with OR. And remember that OR is true with e if either part is true. For this very last column, we're only looking at the two columns that precede it. When we have false or true, we get true. When we have true or false, we get true. When we get false or false, we get a false value, and that's the only false value. And in the very last row, we have true or false, which is also true. So that our very final column here gives us our truth values for all the different possibilities. We have true, true, false, true.